All right, so this is, I'm going to get some, like, you know, some, some seriousness. We're going to do some, like, uh, you know, we got to be very, very honest and upfront here. Uh, if you are pro-police, uh, well, first of all, you're an idiot. And second of all, please do not, like, you know, just block my channel. I never want you to watch my content in any capacity. I want to pretend that you don't exist as much as possible. But that being said, I want to get into some of the events that occurred over the last, uh, like, I guess, 24 hours or so. In uh, Brooklyn Center, Minneapolis, uh, which is, uh, no, rather, Minnesota, which is just outside the city of Minneapolis. And so, now again, I want to remind everyone of the last year of our lives here. Um, and specifically, the last couple of months, I want to remind everyone about the, remember the COVID relief package? Remember when they were negotiating and they were like, oh, we just, there's so much money that we can't spend because we're so strapped for cash. We're so strapped for cash, man. We we really can't give two thousand dollar checks. We just can't do it. We can't give two thousand dollar checks. We just we can only do fourteen. You know, otherwise, you know, like we just you know we just don't have that kind of money. We can only do fourteen hundred. I'm sorry. I know we promised two thousand, but you know, I know we promised a higher unemployment benefits, but we're gonna you know we can't do it. We just don't have that kind of money. We gotta be responsible, right? This is the shit that we have been seeing on the mainstream media, on like in political circles for the last like several months, uh, it's, you know, since the Biden administration began. Is it just like, oh, there's just, how are we gonna pay for it? There's so much money that we need. How are we gonna pay for it, right? But again, I wanna remind everyone, right? As soon as police shoot and murder someone in broad daylight, right? As soon as that happens, all of a sudden, the question, how we're gonna pay for this? Out the window, out the window. You, It's like you opened the window on a plane and all of everyone's fucking worries about how you're gonna pay for things just flew out the goddamn window, got sucked right out. Their eyeballs got sucked out of their sockets as well like Buzz motherfucking Lightyear, right? I just wanna like, seriously, how much does this money cost? Like, think about this. And I've got another video clip that I'm gonna play here and this one, it, that gets a lot worse. But think about this, how much money do all of these machines cost? This like this looks like a military occupation of a foreign country, right? If you look at this image and you don't see a military occupation, chances are you're white and you're upper class. But seriously, or you're just a fucking moron. How much money is being used on these machines to build these machines on domestic ground to pay all of the fake humans, the, the, you know, soulless husks of fucking biodegradable material, right, that occupies these machines, how much are their salaries? I bet they get paid pretty well compared to a lot of the people that live in Brooklyn Center, Minnesota, right? Look at this fucking giant truck. What is on this? How much money does this fucking cost, right? And these dumb motherfuckers on Capitol Hill, oh, the infrastructure, well, we can't really pay to help people have clean, drinkable, like, water in their cities. We can't really reform all the pipe systems and plumbing systems because it costs so much money. We can't really fill in that pothole because it just costs so much money. And I want to play to you a video. Now, again, if you looked at this video without context, Let's say you woke up from a coma and this is the first thing I showed to you. What country would you think this is? What country? Like I'm saying, and I, I don't, I mean to say that I understand that there's that, you know, American exceptionalist, you know, rhetoric, you know, in what I'm saying here. But I really want people to understand, right? That there is no difference between the United States of America and the rest of the world. The US empire, the imperialist empire of the United States is just as dangerous to American citizens as it is to the citizens of the rest of the globe. And that's the point I'm trying to get across here. We are no exception. We are not immune. We are not invulnerable to this disgusting weaponization of human society where it's like, oh yeah, you know, feeding you, feeding your children, making sure that you're protected in a pandemic, whatever. How are you going to pay for it? 
having guns, tanks, and fucking infinite soldiers with three fuck like isn't it like fucking thirty five thousand dollar like riot gear that these people have on? Like these people have on like significantly. I don't remember the number, but like all the guns and the gear that these people wear, I think it's like average around thirty thousand dollars. But I could be wrong, right? each cop and then you got the salaries and you got the overtime and you got all the police union and all that money just being printed Burr, the money printer goes right let's watch this clip here this is on american soil against american civilians that are protesting the occupation for killing an american civilian now imagine i want you to imagine this is let's say uh you know let's say that this is like 1941 and you're a civilian of a territory that's being occupied by Nazis, right? And you see the Nazis roam through your town and murder civilians, and you decide to protest against that, right? What's the difference between that scenario and this scenario? Seriously, the real world difference. Like, look at this. They are shooting guns from the fucking tanks behind giant, like, fucking chain link fences. What the fuck? Listen to them screaming, hold the line, like they're playing fucking Call of Duty. And look at this fucking jackass, dumb fuck motherfucker. I'm gonna run up to the face with my shotgun. I'm gonna get him. Mommy, mom, I'm gonna get him, mommy. Oh, God, I got the gun. I'm gonna go up to the face. I'm gonna shoot him. Man, got the gun, mommy. Are you proud of me now? Like, what is this shit, man? What is this? What the fuck? Like, what are you doing? What is this? This is society. Thousands and thousands and thousands, tens and tens and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of fucking years of human evolution. And this is the best we got. We are killing each other for no fucking reason man and it's all on one side of the equation like i'm not trying to do a both sides here motherfucker it's 1000 percent and exclusively and only the motherfucking police and the authoritarian fucking alignment that they fucking you know identify with right but seriously thousands and thousands and thousands of years of human evolution we don't have clean drinking water what we don't have healthy food what we don't have fucking like breathable air what we can't even go outside without getting a disease what and if you fucking protest your government killing your fucking best friend you get shot in the fucking face and blinded for the rest of your life that's the society that we've worked for hundreds of fucking thousands of years to accomplish this is the best we got are you fucking kidding me? I want you to watch this video again. I really want this to sink into your brain. This is the United motherfucking states of motherfucking America. United? What? Who's united? Dude, they've got giant motherfucking fences, they've got tanks, and they've got guns. And they're shooting at people with a fucking firecracker. For a fucking firecracker, they're fucking getting guns and shooting from tanks. Because some guy has a megaphone on the other side of the fence and they're saying all cops are bastards. You're going to get a gun and sit in a fucking tank and shoot at American civilians on American soil. I want people to understand. I want you to fully understand. You are not free. You are not, oh, I'm free. I got liberty and freedom. You are not free. And it's not the fucking Bill Gates, communist, Joe Biden, China axis that's the one keeping you down, motherfucker. It's not the masks that are the ones making you unfree. It's the motherfucking police that are making it so that you're not free. It's the fucking authoritarian axis that you, as a cop respecter, that are listening to this video and are currently writing an essay in the comment section, right? That's the shit that makes us unfree. Why are we spending billions and billions and billions of dollars on this? On that? We could spend billions of dollars on clean drinking water. We could spend clean, uh, we can spend billions of dollars on clean air. We could spend billions of dollars on ending the fossil fuel industry to stop climate change. We could spend billions of dollars on fixing all the roads. We could spend billions of dollars on high speed rail. We could spend billions of dollars on universal health care. We could spend billions of dollars on food security. Nope. This is the best we got. 
the United States of America, land of the free or something. I'm serious, man. Like you have to understand, this is the world we live in. You are not free. No one is free unless you're a billionaire or maybe a hundred millionaire. Maybe you can kind of be free. But even then, even then, right? Like my point here is like, you are nothing. Nobody cares about you. You are useless, right? Literally, as far as the government is concerned, as far as the billionaire elites are concerned, you are useless. You matter nothing at all. They will shoot you dead in the street and then refuse to accept accountability. Say that you didn't need, oh, sorry, I meant to grab my taser, bro, my bad. They, they will not only refuse to accept accountability, they will refuse to even acknowledge reality. They will say, oh, no, 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 it was an accident, bro. They knew what they were doing, right? And then as soon as that happens, right, there's a phone call that's made. Think about that. There's a fucking phone call that's made. Hey, someone, the police union president, someone somewhere makes a phone call as soon as that story breaks. I think we have a problem here. We're going to have to spend billions of dollars on the National Guard. Oh, but why don't we just give them clean drinking water and food security? No, no, no. National Guard. And that's right. Bring the tanks. Think about that. Think about that phone call that someone makes. A human being. Now, I don't consider them humans. I consider them scum. I consider them worse than scum. Betraying your fellow man or human, I should say, you know, not to be gender specific. Betraying your fellow human, in my opinion, is the ultimate crime. That's like, seriously, like there's only so many of us in the goddamn universe and you're going to throw your fellow human under the bus for what? For a jacuzzi? Like, what are you spending this money on? Like, are you, oh, a vacation home? Why are you willing to murder and destroy the lives of hundreds or thousands of innocent civilians? What else? What is, what makes that worthwhile? I just don't get it, dude. I don't fucking understand and then you got dumb motherfuckers that go out there and go like oh this is normal you gotta spend billions of dollars on tanks again listen to the audio these motherfuckers think they're playing vr hold the line hold the line hold the line man shit you gotta hold the fucking line what what line this is all because cops can't say sorry This is like, it's crazy. It's fucking crazy, man.